Hi there. In this video, we are going to look at symbolic links, otherwise known as symlinks, uh, which is a way to create a file listing in a directory that uh, is actually a file or folder from a different directory. We'll use this a lot in CS 107 uh, when we want to create one directory of files that everyone has access to or one particular uh, file that everyone has access to. Um, many times the actual files or folders themselves will be read-only, so you can't go uh, changing them, but uh, they will be located and accessible from your uh, a particular directory on your folder. Maybe uh, a, a directory where a program lives and it needs access to uh, a particular set of files that we provide. Uh, you can have it uh, located in your folder as a sim link and therefore your fold, your program can find it uh, using a relative path uh, instead of trying to uh, find it using an absolute path. So it's a nice way to do it um, and you probably won't have to create too many sim links but uh, I wanted to show you how that actually how it actually works. So uh, if I look at the files here, let's do a long listing of the files in the uh, in my CS107 assignments folder. Uh, let's say for instance that um, in assignment 0 we, have, we want to link you to some samples directory. Uh, in fact, we'll use the samples directory fairly often in here. Uh, here's how you could actually do it. You would actually say ln-s for symbolic link, and, uh, and then you actually type uh, the full path. In this case, it's afs-ir uh, class cs107 samples, and dot meaning put it in the current directory. And then if we do an ls-l, you'll notice that you've got a samples directory here, okay? And it's a link, it's L for link, and it uh, points to where it actually is. So if we actually look in that samples, I don't think there's much in there. Yeah, there's only one thing called Unix hunt in there, uh, but that's actually on the CS107 uh, part of the file system, but you've now linked to it. And so if you ever see a file like this with a little arrow, uh, notation there. It means that it's a symbolic link and if you wanted to create one you use the ln-s command to do it. Thanks.